where we wanted to give the men an opportunity to not be in a food service line. We have volunteers come in and help them, ask them for their drinks, and bring them their meal, and just wait on them like they would if they were in a restaurant. Life Church has given us this amazing opportunity for us to actually just show the love of Christ in just a different way. And so they approached me about being the coach of the Dining with Dignity each month, and I thought it was an amazing opportunity for me to be able to serve. These gentlemen here are just very appreciative, just can't believe that we would go to the limits of serving them, um, being here for them, and just you know, welcoming them in here, into the kitchen and the dining area and just have it all set up for them. I have a passion of cooking and I like to see the smiles of the individuals, the overnight guests that come in, the smiles on their face to get a nice hot meal. And I went through two programs which were steps and kitchen prep. So I've been here a total, working a total of four months, but as an overnight guest, a program man, I've been here a total of eight months. One of the things that our volunteers have enjoyed that have experienced this is that they get to not only serve them, but also get to know them a little bit. It's, it's a little bit more personal. You just have to be willing to give up a little bit of your time, a couple of hours, twice a month, and just be able to talk to people and serve them food. And if you feel so led to sit down with them and connect with them, do so. But yeah, you don't have to have any special skills, just like people. My uh, left shoulder was injured and I had to have surgery. And um, there was complications after the surgery and my arm was paralyzed. And uh, so um, I wound up homeless and had no way actually of uh, providing for myself without being able to work. And the uh, rescue mission has taken me in and let me do my physical therapy. And my, my arm is getting stronger, it's getting better. And uh, at the same time, I'm witnessing God's love. You can serve as long or as little as you like. Um, it usually starts at 3.30 and goes till about 6. So a lot of people are able to serve that entire time. And if you can't, we'll take you with, you know, for whatever time that you're available. Like, we just want you to come and be blessed. One of the coolest things that happened to me since I've been here is the love in my heart that I have for the individuals to come through. Them seeing me move from an overnight guest to an employee here at the Union Rescue Mission and them wanting to do the same. And this is just one of the areas that the church offers that we can volunteer. So I just jumped on board and, and I'm loving it. It's kind of like any of the volunteering at Life Church. If you come in and you try it once, you're going to be hooked and want to continue serving. Union Rescue Mission is an amazing way to serve and beginning of 2019 we're wanting to do two Dining with Dignities a month so that people that can't serve one will still be given another opportunity to be able to serve during that month in this way. We do need more volunteers uh, to come and help us serve and honestly it's a blessing to our lives. It's just a way to make them feel a part of something normal. Every time that you get a meal here, every time that you um, uh, get to take a shower and get a warm bed to lay in, that's God's love we're receiving. And um, I think the men are really aware of that. And I know I've certainly become more aware of that. And having gone through this, it's uh, been actually a good experience for me because I've drawn closer to Christ. And you can't help but be here and not hear the word of Christ. And um, it's making me rethink my entire relationship with God and how uh, you know I want others to see me and view me. And I want to be known as a Christian because Jesus Christ is my Lord and I'm very thankful for the Wichita Rescue Mission. I really am. This has kept me off the streets. It's, it's given me a safe environment um, to where I can heal my body and at the same time without even realizing it my spirit is getting healed too. So it's a very win-win situation.